Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your own jump ring opener tool. What you're going to need for the project is some flat wire. You're going to need different gauges of wire depending on what size jump rings you want to open up. So I'm going to use 24 gauge and 20 gauge, and you're going to need your tools. So you're going to take your flat wire and wind it around sort of a cylinder form. So I'm just going to use this Crayola marker. It seems to be a good size for my finger. So we're just going to wrap it around a couple of times like that. And then basically what you want to do is you want to finish the ends. So you can cut them just flush and file them or you can make it a little more fancy and just bring the wire back here and then clip it and then with your flat pliers just bring this in. This wire is very soft because it's aluminum wire that I flattened myself so um, it's very easy to bend and to cut. So whatever wire you're using just use the appropriate tools. We're going to clip that and then we're going to just just to get the little sharp ends in. This isn't necessarily a ring that you're going to wear, although it might look kind of funky. It's basically a tool. So now that you have your cylinder with your, you know, three bands type of thing, so we're going to remove that. And we want to do different sizes depending on the size of your jump ring. So I'm going to do 20 and 24 gauge. You could also use 18 gauge wire for this. So basically what I want to do is bring the wire in between these two and I want to bring it around. I'm going to move it over a little bit more. I'm going to bring it around here and then down through the bottom so we're going like down through the middle and up the next one so take your flat pliers it's going to be easier to grip them so bring that around here and you want to really kind of manipulate it so it's flat so we're going to bring this here and then bring this down so the idea is you have a wire in between and this one goes here so we're going to bring this one down and then that one down and then we're going to bend this one up at a right angle. Take this end and wind it. See, it's at a right angle. Take this end and very, like, pull it tight as you go. Pull it all the way around so it makes a full, like, circle around. And then bend this one down. And we want to just cut the ends. This is the simplest way i found to do it. I was doing a little bit more weaving before and I just found it got like a little bit messy. So this is a nice clean way to do it. And the 20 gauge wire is quite uh, stiff so it tends to hold its place. The big, the big thing is you want to get these little sharp ends in. So there's one. That looks good. And now we're going to take another piece of the 20 gauge and then over here a little more. Leave enough space for where your jump ring is going to go. So we'll bring this one in here and put it up like about an inch or something. Bring this one up and then down, all the way down. And what you can do is just bring it all the way down and then you can actually just like spread this one a little bit if it's in the way. It's going to be easier. Bring this up and then bring this one. Make sure you have space for your jump ring. So pinch it so it's flat in place. Bring this one down and then bend this one again at the right angle here and then take this one and give it a good tug if you have to use your flat pliers do it if not just give it a good tug bring it around and then bring that one down here so we're just going to cut the ends again so they can be pushed down flush and then with your flat pliers just put them down. So there we have one with the space for the jump ring and you can check your jump ring to see like if that's going to fit and if it's not big enough um, you can use an 18 gauge wire. This one I made with 18 gauge wire so the space is a little larger and this is good for this other jump ring that's thicker and very stiff actually. So we're just going to stick it in there in the little slot and then you just give it a little twist and it opens up super well. 
So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to join my Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, I'll link it up below. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire wedding cake toppers and unique jewelry. I also send out a monthly newsletter, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook where I give a list of my supplies and materials and a few tips. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you the next time.